Hey everyone, it's Dave from the WebSum team. Today, I'm gonna show you how to debug JavaScript code effectively in WebStorm. Now we've all been there, scattering console log statements everywhere like breadcrumbs, trying to track down the bugs, but WebStorm's built-in debugger makes it so much easier. Let's ditch the manual fumigation and explore how to supercharge your debugging workflow. Okay, let's start with the basics, setting up the debugger. The best part, WebStorm's debugger works right out of the box. There's no extra configuration needed. So say you have a HTML file referencing a JavaScript file. All you have to do is right click the HTML file and select debug. WebStorm will generate a debug configuration. Launch your file in Chrome and open the debug tool window. So breakpoints are your biggest best friend when debugging. They stop code execution at specific lines so you can expect what's. There are a couple of different breakpoint options. The first one is the normal one, which is line breakpoints. So you can click on the gutter on the left-hand side to set a breakpoint. The other option is to set temporary breakpoints. So if you hold Alt and click the gutter to add a breakpoint, it will automatically remove itself after being hit. And the third option is exception breakpoints. So if you use Control Shift F8 to open the breakpoints dialog, add a break JavaScript exception breakpoint to stop whenever a error is thrown. And this is perfect for finding uncaught exceptions. As a bonus tip, breakpoints aren't just static. If you right click a breakpoint, you can actually add stuff like conditions. So you can stop only if X is equal to five, for instance, or for actions. So you can log a message instead of stopping the execution. When your program hits a breakpoint, the debug tool window will open. So let's break that down. So first off, you have the frames tab. So you can navigate the call stack to see which function calls led to the current line. Then you have a variables tab where you can inspect the variables and even modify their values on the fly. Inline values are also shown directly in the editor for quick insights. Next, you have a control tab where you can run JavaScript snippets while debugging. It's like a mini REPL. But no JS apps, it includes additional node specific logs. And then you have the elements tab where you can view the HTML structure and monitor DOM changes and scripts tab where you can inspect and debug external resources like JavaScript files. So once you've hit a breakpoint, you can walk through your code. So you have these options like step over, which is F8, which will skip into the next line, but won't dive into functions. You can step into, which will debug inside the function being called. You can step out and exit the current function and return to the caller. But as a pro tip, if you step into a function but want to jump back to where you came from, the frames tab shows you the entire call stack. Okay, now here are a few time savings actions that'll take your debugging to the next level. The first one is smart step into. If you've got multiple functions on the same line, this lets you pick which one to debug. Next is run to cursor. So you can skip the hassle of setting breakpoints and right click any line and select run to cursor and WebStorm will pause execution right there. And finally, there's watches. The watches let you monitor specific variables or complex expressions as your code runs. To add a watch, you open the variables tab, enter expression and click add to watches. With watches, you can track exactly how a value changes step by step. And now you're probably asking, what about Node.js apps? So debugging on the back end is just as simple. Instead of launching a HTML file, start debugging from a JavaScript file. WebStorm will automatically create a Node.js run debug configuration, or you can go through NPM run configuration. The process is the same, but with Node.js, you get access to the interactive debugger console for executing snippets and viewing logs. And that's a wrap for debugging WebStorm. No more endless console log statements. You now have the tools to pause execution, inspect variables, and fix bugs efficiently. If you're just getting started, don't worry. Play around with the breakpoints, step through options and watches, and you'll soon be debugging like a pro in no time. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and a subscribe for more tips on getting most out of WebStorm. Oh, and if you're looking for what to watch next, to get more out of WebStorm, check out this video on the Git integration in WebStorm and how you can use it.